Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this uh, lovely photo manipulation with this uh, lion. And also, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Alright, let's begin. To start this tutorial, we need to select the head of the lion. So take the lasso tool and just make uh, an oval around his head, something like that. And then we are going to use a special fur uh, brush to select parts of the fur that we did not select at this moment. So now I'm clicking on the mask and this is the selection at this moment. So take the brush and select a brush, a fur brush. I'm going to give you this uh, fur so you can use it in your own uh, manipulations. So now I'm switching to the white color and the flow I keep it 100%. And now if I'm brushing, I'm uh, bringing back parts of the lion's fur. So um, at this moment I'm just uh, painting around and I'm bringing back parts of his uh, natural fur. Alright, now if uh, you think you finished with the white color, just switch to the black color on the brush and reduce the flow to around 20 or even uh, less. And now uh, I'm going to use the black color to get rid of the gray areas from the fur. Alright, so if you want to spend more time in selecting the lion's fur, you can uh, spend more time. But uh, for now, for this tutorial sake, let's stop here. So we selected the, the lion set. Now let's move on. I have this uh, photo with uh, a guy sitting on a chair. I already selected him, so we won't uh, lose more time. It's really easy. You can use uh, Photoshop uh, from here, object selection tool, and you can uh, select him and Photoshop with, will select him really quickly. So I already selected him. And now uh, for the final image, I'm going to use uh, this image because I want to post this on the Instagram account. I'll uh, crop by pressing the letter C or taking this uh, crop tool and then I'm selecting a 4 by 5 ratio. Now I'm going to bring uh, this guy into our design. So I'm just going to drag him here and uh, for the moment I'm going to leave him like that. And then I'm going to bring the lion's head but uh, first I'm going to right click and convert it to a smart object. All right, and then I'm going to drag him into this picture. All right, let me hide him, hide the head, and also I'm going to do the same thing, right click and convert this one to a smart object. All right, now I'm going to make this guy smaller by pressing Ctrl and T, and let's find him a good uh, position, something like that. All right, now let's bring back the head and um, of course, let's make the head smaller and let's uh, place the head uh, something like that. All right, now uh, we need uh, a shadow underneath uh, the lion's head. So I'm going to create a new layer underneath and call this one shadow. Then I'm going to switch to multiply the blending mode, take again the brush tool. And this time I'm going to use a normal soft round brush and I'm going to hold alt and choose one of the darkest colors from this picture with the guy. And I'm going to paint underneath uh, his head on the chest, something like that. And of course, if uh, you use this uh, too much, you can switch to the eraser tool and in erase some parts to make the shadow uh, a bit uh, transparent. All right, so I think we're done with the shadow and now uh, Let's group the lion and the shadow into one group. So select both of them and then click on the group icon and then click on the layer with the lion head and uh, add a selective color adjustment and clip it to affect only the lion's head. Here I'm going to play a bit with the settings, something like that. And then um, I'm going to also make a group with uh, the guy. So I'm just holding shift and click on the layer with the guy. So now we have two groups, one group with the lion and one group with uh, the guy. Now 
I'm going to select both groups and create another group from those two groups. Now go on top of uh, this group and create a new selective color and clip it inside the big group with uh, both uh, groups. And now we are trying to match um, our new elements, our new characters colors with the background so i'm going to play a bit with the settings here on the neutrals i think something like that and then i'm going to move uh, this group a bit to the left now uh, we want to uh, blend uh, our lion our newly created lion better with the background so on this big group i'm going to add a mask and now take the brush tool and we are going to take a grass brush so i'm going to zoom in and here i'm going to paint uh, I'm going to change the flow first to 100% and I'm going to paint with black uh, with this uh, grass brush. Now I'm going to take the blur tool and I'm going to blur uh, on the mask the grass that we just uh, created with the grass brush. Alright, now he's uh, much better blended with the background and now let's move on and go on top of everything and add a brightness and contrast and clip it inside now decrease uh, the brightness and invert the mask by pressing ctrl and i then take the brush tool but this time the soft brush and now we are going to make the left part of uh, our view so his right side we are going to make it darker so switch to the white color with the brush selected and be sure the flow is around um, or five percent all right now I'm going to add the uh, uh, light on our right side so his left side so go on uh, brightness and contrast again clip it and now increase the brightness and of course control and I to invert the mask and then with the white uh, color selected on the right side we are going to uh, paint now I'm going to add some uh, shadows and highlights on uh, our uh, new character and I'm going to add a new layer and set the blending mode to soft light and fill it to 50% gray and of course I'm holding alt and clip it inside the group. Now I'm going to zoom in and with the black color selected and the flow around 5% I'm going to paint on uh, the darker parts of our characters. Because I notice here some transparency on the shoulders, that means our lion uh, should uh, not have that uh, transparent part. So because it's a smart object, we are going to double click on the lion's head. And um, now uh, with uh, the brush selected, let's uh, set the flow around 100%. And now be sure that the white color is selected. I think we're done. And now uh, if we are going to save this one, this smart object and come back to our design, you will see that um, it is uh, much better now. Now let's add some, uh, let's go back to our uh, soft light layer and switch to the white color and uh, the flow should be around again 5-4% and now I'm going to add some light. Now let's create some shadows underneath the chair and his legs and I'm going to create a new layer and this time I'm going to select the soft light blending mode and now I'm going to paint. Alright so we added some shadows and now let's uh, change the overall colors of our design. So go on top of everything and again select uh, the selective color and here we are going to play a bit with the uh, overall colors. Alright, so I decided to go with those settings and now let's change a bit his eyes. So on top of everything I'm going to create a new solid color and I'm going to select the orange color and I'm going to set this to overlay and then I'm going to invert the mask. By pressing Ctrl and I I'm taking the brush tool and with the white color selected I'm going to paint around his eyes and I'm going to add some of that orange color to the eyes. I think something like that uh, works really nice. So we can do the same thing here and 
I think we're done. And now for the final adjustments, I'm going to add a camera row filter. So press Ctrl, Shift and I, and it will make a layer from all the layers. Then right click, convert it to a smart object and go to filter and choose camera row filter. So here on the camera row filter, I have changed a bit the basics um, and um, I added some sharpness on the detail a bit uh, with the mid tones. I added some orange color mid tones and highlights and some blue color on the shadows and some grain and vignetting. So that's about it with the camera row filter. So if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to watch every week a new tutorial and uh, you can also follow me on Instagram where I post weekly my uh, new designs. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial and see you next time.